Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will finally be using Yelan OTK to just find out just how truly broken it is. And we're going up against Lady Seahorse Azdaha, Azdaha here, which is actually a deck made to counter Yelan OTK. So this is this will be pretty interesting. Starting off here, I'll, I guess I'll keep all my artifacts and oh, we get Yayoi as well. That's pretty good since we get all our artifacts. Uh, they start first. And usually they like to start on Lenny, so I'm gonna start on Signora to just tank Lenny's prop arrow first. Then I'll switch to Yelan and start building up her stacks. Or Seahorse, well, same thing really. Actually, is it the same thing? We'll find out. I can keep the I can keep the Cryo dice actually since I already have enough Hydro dice. That's pretty good. So the way that this counters uh, Yelan OTK is. Well, first of all, it's an aggro deck, and aggro decks counter combo decks by, in theory. Secondly, they're using overload, and overload means that they can overload me off of Yelan to stop me from getting Yelan's energy up. So that's why I'm starting on Sinura, so that they can't overload me off of Yelan. Well, if they attack here. But since they already use Strategize, I think they're forced to attack here. If they switch to Lenny now, they only have 6 dice left, and 6 dice is not enough for 2 attacks and a switch. Of course, they could have other cards for more dice, but it's the, it's literally round 1 with like 5 cards remaining, so you, they don't have much, many options, do they? Okay, just Liban to get the extra card from Dunyazad. In case you don't know already, the seahorse has the Fontema pose which negate damage. We can read it all here. And the I think I guess the most useful feature is that when you declare the end of your round and you still have this at least one of these up, you draw one card. Assuming that uh, only when the seahorse is the active char active character though. Well go on. Mr. Six dies, do something. I guess he's not going for two attacks this round. Are you even gonna attack this round? Brother. Or sister. Okay. Just just normal attack. Alright. You love to see it. An aggro deck not playing aggro. Though looking at their cards here, I think it's pretty clear that they are running a jet deck. So we have to be careful of that. In other words, we just have to end this on round 3, which I guess was our main goal anyway. Wait, do I... Do I use Kavari now here? I don't think so. I think we just switch to Yelan here. I think we equip Kavari now on... On Station? Or on Senora? I think on Senora. Because I want to equip Flowing Rings on... Yelan instead. So now we use Yayoi. Now we can equip Flowing Rings for free on Yelan. And now we can use the skill. Followed by the normal attack. And this will give us extra dice, extra... Uh, extra card as well. And we also got rid of both the seahorses uh, Fontema Pearls, so now there's no way for them to get back Fontema Pearls unless they use their Burst, I believe, yes. Burst or Talent card. The Talent card costs zero. Okay, oh, now you give me Minty Meat Bros. Okay, game. I could have used that like right now, like at the start of round one, so I can get three energy, but oh well. So here, actually I can just end my round like this because... Actually, should I? Should I or should I not? Okay, they're ending their round with two dice, so Liban doesn't even get extra dice. He doesn't even like proc here. I'm just scared of like a skill followed by fast action switch to Lenny. Should I be worried? I mean I guess so. Besides, Sinora has part of Kavarna's brilliance on her, so I might as well let her tank the first hit to draw an extra card. Alright, so we even get LITM. I won't use it willy-nilly though, so... Because like, 
An ITM is really good with freeze. I won't simply use fast action. I mean, I do have two, but hey, it's valuable stuff. Are you, are you gonna roll your dice or no? Okay, thank you. Okay, so of course it would be ideal for now for me right now if they just attack Sinora. Like, just waste your dice attacking Sinora, please. But it looks like they want to switch to Azdahar instead. Fair enough. I do think that is the correct decision. Well, no matter. Let us switch to Yelan now. Who's our target this time? So I'm gonna use a normal attack burst. Okay, 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 dude. As the high talent, of course. I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna attack. I mean, what am I gonna do? Not attack? Upsh. Because all my attacks deal elemental damage, interestingly enough. Well, now Yelan's normal attack no longer does, since she only has, she now has zero stacks. Okay, anyway, what cards did we get? Oh, Treasure Seeking Seely, that's pretty good. So now after I use my burst, I'll be left with two dice. And I Gilded on Station, that's four dice. Switch to Station, that's two, three dice, Minty two dice, and then I can normal attack twice with Covenant. Okay, great. So that's the plan here. Just burst, Gilded, switch, uh, well, burst, switch, gilded, minty, covenant. Alright. I like how they're running an aggro deck, but they've only dealt 2 damage to me. Like, one and a half rounds in. Wait, what the heck did you just do? Another one? Why oh, you have so many? How do you get 2? Dude, okay, this might be scary. I might have to freeze them here then. Because they have too much dice. I don't want to die, man. Okay, let's go for the burst. Okay, I might have to freeze here. Okay, they switched to Lini. Oh, fair enough. They don't want to get frozen too quickly. Wait, what if I LITM here and just freeze Lini? Isn't that great? I think Sinora might die though. Hmm. Will Sinora die? I freeze Lini, he switches to Azdar. That's three attacks. Like, probably three attacks. Two attacks at least. I mean, that's not enough to kill Sinora even. And now I have my burst. I think, I think that's the way to go. Should they use both of both of the talents? And with four cards remaining, I doubt he has Gilded and Liar Song. And even if he does, he, he won't have like both Liar Songs. He doesn't even have Yayoi. Eh? Okay, okay, this is good. Oh, we do have our own uh, Liar song. Okay, I think we are like here. Linny is a huge damage dealer. You're trembling. Replace that. Minty meat rolls. And freeze. It would be great if we get another Liar song here. Okay, Chef Mao. Now, I think they'll switch to Seahorse since, I mean, you don't want Azdaha to get frozen as well, do you? Azdaha deals more damage than Seahorse here. Plus, Seahorse has the. What? Covenant is a thing, my guy. I'm so sorry for your loss. 
I'll just come right now him. That's a free freeze. I could have also Liar Song again to get an extra die so I can put on Sealy, but I don't think it's worth it. Liar Song is worth a lot. I'd rather Liar Song when I have Yayoi up again so that I can get two whole dice instead of just one. I mean, I, I, I think this guy is just lost here. Yeah, go to Seahorse and well, have fun attacking with Seahorse, I guess. I hope you enjoy the one electro damage burst. So, best this guy can do is. Okay, best is technically 4 skills, which is like 12 damage and Sinora will die, but and that's not happening. I think average would be 3 skills here. Actually, that's a lot of Electro dice. Maybe 2 skills and 1 normal attack. I'll, I'll, give, I'll let him have that much at least. Actually, there's no point using 2 skills and 1 normal attack. It's the same result if you just use... Two normal attacks and one skill, because both leave Sinora at one HP, and she'll lose her revival either way. Just some things to note. Well, go on, keep attacking. What else are you gonna do? Okay, but let's start thinking about next round. So next round, I do have I haven't lost yet. So maybe I want to sack Sinora here. I was, because I also want to switch to Station, of course, since Station is our main damage dealer and he deals a lot of Electro Dark Charge damage. He could probably sweep these guys if we get Minty Meat Rose here. But like, I've, I haven't lost yet, so. Should I sack Sinora? Okay, here comes the Jet, I think. I, I literally don't care if they have Jet because it's just the Seahorse. What are you gonna do with the Seahorse? This is the best you can do. I don't think they'll use their burst here because, I mean, they want to save their burst to trigger Jet. None of their other characters have any energy at all. JY doesn't have to have energy. Oh yeah, he just used his talent twice. Wait, you actually use a burst? I mean, I suppose they don't have enough stacks and they're really low on cards. Oh no, you're, you're gonna get so many cards, why do you use a burst? Just for the font table pose? Oh no, wait. Okay, it's true that this deals just enough damage to remove Sinora's revival, but so would a normal attack. Oh, that's a lot of dice, okay. 12 dice. Oh, we got Minty though, GG. Uh, we don't need Cryo Dice anymore because Sinora is going to lose her revival. We still get Cryo Dice anyway. Thanks, game. Do I want to just out on Seahorse here? I don't think so, to be honest. Or uh, maybe I should. Again, I've, I haven't lost yet. Ah. Only thing I don't have is gamblers. Nah, it's like they're so they're so dead, right? Three, one, six. Yeah, they're so dead. Guess we might as well use our all our gildeds here before they use passing of judgment or something on me. Liar song. Since I, I do need the extra pyro die anyway. Liar song. And Chef Mao. Minty meat rolls on you. I don't even need a CD. I'll just keep all my dice. Let's go. Oh, now you give me gamblers. Okay, cool, cool. I see how it is, game. Oh, 7 dice versus 12 dice. Not scared at all, though. Like, right, what are you gonna do with 3 HP? You could load this up. I don't think that helps you. Okay, it does help you, but not much. 
Oh no, he's gonna crystallize me. Whatever will I do? Oh no, Sinora's gonna die. I wish I had more princess right about now. Oh well. Damn, you draw a lot of cards, don't you? I suppose it is round 4. Right? I, I think so. What did you just use? The poor princess. Okay, I, I don't think you need more dice, brother. I don't think dice is your issue right now. Though you might as well. Oh, go on. Skill. If you don't skill, I'm just gonna normal attack and kill you anyway. Skill! Okay, gilded first, whatever. Like I said, I don't think dice is your issue here. If you ask me, the Arcane Legend is probably either Passing of Judgment or Fresh Wind of Freedom. It's more likely to be Passing of Judgment, to be honest. That's why I used all my event cards first. Well, of course I can't use I haven't lost yet right yet. Oh that was a weird thing to say. I think that's the second time I've said this on this channel so far. But uh I don't think they'll see this coming anyway, since I already used all my event cards. Okay, now they equip gamblers. Now they equip gamblers and kill Sinora. Which I guess does not matter. Again, a nice nice 15 dice, I I don't think that's gonna help you again. I suppose I might as well use this right now. Kaboom. Oh, I forgot to use gamblers. Yeah, got I got lazy. I mean come on. Tell me this isn't winning. Like, even with Lotus, you can't survive this. Brother, I don't think dice is your issue right now. Though this is the case with Hyper Magic decks. They have, because they, they need, like, the entire deck space for all these cards to the point that they can't fit in food or anything else. So this is their weakness, to be honest. Too much dice and not enough anything else. GG. And that's why Yelena OTK is so strong, because it has a good balance of both dice and everything else. So if you want to win, just use this deck. It's too broken.